Hello, 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 hello. Mission 7. So what happened to him and Trish? They end up like you? Trish, she... She was captured. I remember that. But I don't know what happened to Dante. Damn it. You can't travel through here in a car. <laughs> yeah, we know. We're just waiting on you. There's only one way up that tree. Hang on. I'll get ready. I'm glad to see you look so well. You too, I guess. I found these. If they're of any use to you, they're yours. Wow. I can make something truly awesome out of these. Shocker. Can we trust him? Your guess is as good as mine. He might be useful, though. Enough talking. Get some rest. You need it. Big spooky tree there off in the distance. Yo, lady, wake up! It's time to get to work. I was just told to get some rest. Oh, you were just told to get some rest? Well, we need to make a path. So start digging. <sighs> Come on, get up, get up, get up! Got something to wear that's good for digging? But <laughs> So, mission seven is one of the crazy unique missions in the game where you can choose either to play as Nero or V. Or well, you can choose your character. We can either go for Nero, but I think we'll go for V, the mysterious one, just because we just got some uh, Nero gameplay and we'll get some more afterwards as well, so... Might as well get some V business going. I've also been noticing that I'm not mentioning the title of the missions anymore. I kind of don't notice them. <laughs> like, it's not as big! It's spelled out here in 5 and... The... Oh shit. It's of course, you know, all on me. But... Who cares? It's not like we're paying attention to them anyway, and I'm naming the videos wherever the hell I want anyway, so. Brutal Instinct. Riot. I suppose this is a good opportunity to mention today's shout out to all of the people out there rioting against you know, injustice in the world the unjust practices practiced by institutions around the world. And if you're the type of person who wants uh, politics out of video games, well, there's politics in the video games, so how about that? Considered doing this mission with Nero because it's probably more fun and easier to actually follow along to what's going on. But, same time, kind of feel like we need to get some V goodness going as well. Lockdown. 
shit. Do a full spin with the stick to do this, and apparently I'm not good enough at video games to do it properly. Oh well, let's go on. Let's see, who haven't I pissed off yet? Still gotta search every corner. Careful, B. Something can do. <laughs> I'm too fast for the dialogue triggers. <laughs> oh well. Oh, who haven't I pissed off yet with my random provocative statements? Uh, see, women aren't entitled to have sex with you or me. Or anyone. And neither are men. Or non binary people. No one's entitled to anything other than peace and love. Because, you know, you don't want to talk to anything. That's very dangerous, post-capitalist. Like messaging. Like you're saying that people aren't entitled to... You know, roof over their head or enough food to not literally die. Say that's a very bad and slippery slope to go down. That's also why, uh... Let's see. We should be going after this big tumor or ward over there that's just sitting there and vibing. Because it is actually going to spit out more enemies. See, that's what I call fucking awesome. <laughs> so it's basically giving you a choice. If you want to have loads of fights, get loads of gameplay, or would you rather just, you know, get it over with? I don't think it gives any style points to Wail on, and maybe it's just about 100 burying my shit enough, but uh. I think that we don't stay here all day. Let's break it. It's great to have Nightmare make it literally impossible to see what's going on. My crazy technique for playing V is to use my thumb for both the gun and the melee button. So for both the bird and the cat button. The star rings just go Oh, it's because of this thing. Technically extended the encounter. Or what? There are more than enemies around them just going, oh, the star ring's falling because you haven't killed this one random dude who is technically part of this. <laughs> See. Another shout out to Cowboy Bebop. Great series. If you haven't watched it, give it a go. Either watch the original Japanese, like, you know, voice acting, or the American dub, which I'd say, for once, like, at least you find the none or slightly, the post hat wasn't ever really kiddified. It's just some slightly less vulgar language in the original uh, version, but they redubbed it with the same actors and everything. So that's good. Now cutting out all the use of the word shit, fuck, damn, and so on. You know all the good shit we want to have in our animation, right? Get 
I can't see what the hell's going on, but I hope it's good. I envy your optimism. Hopefully the bitrate is good enough that this is just turning into a big uh, flurry mass. Locked off. So there's one thing I enjoy in my video games, it's a very meaty bass sound. Like you know in Attack of the Clones in the Star Wars Episode 2. When a Django fed is shining off those pulse mines or whatever, and they go <clears throat> That's the kind of shit I like. Hopefully my <clears throat> sound effect is uh <laughs> as awesome sounding in your audio output device as it is in my own head sort of you know further subdued and pressed into my own skull by the headphones I'm wearing hey the Nero player we're crossing over The funny thing about this is when the enemies reach low health, since Nero doesn't need to pull any execution moves off and just beat him up, he's probably going to get most of the kills. See here, a funny thing happens, it blocks off the way forward, not the way back. You can't play some of DMC5 and go on. But yeah, this went surprisingly fast, or once it unsurprisingly fast, I should say, because, you know, we just beat the shit out of it. We can call the van and. just for the sake of the scene. We'll do it after whistling Come at Nero. On. Let's just make a phone call for the scene. Can you meet me over here? Hey, he's still here. He's getting some upgrades. Seems like he's getting some upgrades. As far as I could recall, once you did a phone call, you'd be... So if you paused the game, right? You'd be disconnected from whomever or whoever. You would be disconnected from whomever, yes, grammar, I think. Correct me in the comments and subscribe for grammar. Thought you'd be, you know, disconnected from him. But let's just keep on trucking. Get us some orbs. If he catches up, it's alright. If he doesn't, it's it's what it is. The Glyphon has grown this large. How much blood has been sacrificed? Go. The curtain falls. It can be it. We could beat it before it disappeared. It's even though we're in Red Grave City. We red double dagger bosses, so shit Nero's coming. Oh, lagging out, I don't know. Red double dagger bosses kinda implies we're in London, or the London-esque place. 
Which is neat, right? Because something. You know, because the MC1 was basically set in somewhere central southern Europe on an island. And DMC4 also had some vibes kind of like that. Or with Fortuna. Bunch of Angelos. <laughs> nice. Getting the band back together, huh? What evil lurks. I must destroy. I thought that was the plan all along. <laughs> so it seems like there is some Nero Angelo. Shit. Nilo Angelo. Yeah, Nilo Angelo. Looking demons around. Proto Angelo. Now so I would we'll just have an AI Nero with it instead. Come on. Which I suppose. It's alright, it means the fight's gonna last a bit longer. Because it's a proper boss fight, it would be very difficult to do in a co op scenario, I imagine. But this is uh, it's pretty neat to just have little, you know, some good old co op. Speed of the boat train. Nero getting beaten up somewhere. It actually seems like AI Nero is doing kind of decently at least. And of course, doing the same moves over and over again. I'm not gonna do our style points any justice. But sometimes you just, you know, got to do what you got to do, right? Strike. Come on. I can't try to go which ones we have attacked, which ones we haven't, so... Fun times. Keeping a more or less consistent triple S rank. Not hearing Nero yell as much around the cinema, so I think the AI Nero is fallen over and can't get up. Also, uh, not on wood, I do believe we haven't hit this mission yet, which is pretty neat. And of course, just as I say it, we get hit. Then again, I am good at video games, so it's only fitting, right? I couldn't see which direction he was looking, so that's why I could hit that time. Oh, the big guy's dead. I think we cancelled the move there. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on, I thought they were attacking Nightmare. Oh, one of them died. We got some green orbs. Of a line, he's being knocked over. Which is alright, I guess. 
can't expect an AI buddy to be as efficient as a real person. Just like you can't expect me to have any actual you know, depth perception or wider awareness. This is going to be the last dude. Blast him, bonk it, laughing for a bit, and get a nightmare in here. Come on, the laser beam. Come on. We weren't getting, we weren't getting style points for the taunt, so let's just boom. Also, interesting thing to note, is the summons of these tattoos in the hand. Ink in his hair. Took us long enough to get here. What? Tired already? I just remembered something. This town was attacked. Once before. Is that so? I was here. I can still see it. In fact, I was playing right here. That was the house. This is where we part ways. You go ahead. You're gonna miss all the fun. No. I must seek out the Devil's Sword Sparta. What? Yeah, I don't think that's such a good idea. Trust me. <laughs> You're not the only one who thinks so. But to win this fight, we're going to need all the help we can get. Not the only one? What the hell aren't you telling me? Now, V is definitely keeping something secret. No continues. More than 7,000 style points and S rank. All good. So many shiny toys. And the silly pig of Nero looking very weird. And V just sitting down on the little rocking horse and having a good old time. Also, interesting thing to note, other than V naturally having white hair is the house he pointed out being the house so either his childhood home or something else like that most likely childhood home right it also seems to be where the tree is sprouting out from maybe there's some importance to that house and to v and his mysterious existence <laughs> no matter what Today's shout out is, as previously mentioned earlier this video, to all of those people rioting against injustice and other regime like, or just outright regime thingies. Keep on keeping it real, and we'll see each other again in the next mission. Love ya.